While stats about touchdowns, interceptions, and total yards are important, there might be another way to accurately measure which quarterbacks are elite, as mentioned in an earlier article. That new system, invented just four years ago, is called Total Quarterback Rating, also known as QBR. QBR takes into account the importance of the play. It looks at other important stats like getting sacked and drawing penalties. It measures how much the quarterback did on their own, and it's on an easy to understand 0 to 100 scale, with 50 being average. Contrast that with the old system, called the passer rating, where a perfect game came with a confusing rating of 158.3. Similarly, the passer rating system doesn't take the context of the play into account. That means a one-yard pass that the receiver runs for 50 yards counts the same as the quarterback throwing a perfect deep ball for 50 yards. On the first instance, the receiver did all the work, and in the second scenario, the quarterback did all the work. Shouldn't the second one where the quarterback did all the work get him a better score? According to the old passer rating system, the answer is no. The much more accurate QBR system does take that into account, making it a much more accurate reading. Additionally, the passer rating doesn't take into account when in the game the play happens, something that the QBR can do. An 80-yard drive in the first quarter of the game counts the same as an 80-yard drive with one minute left in the game to win for the passer rating system even though the latter is a much more impressive feat and should be reflected as such in the quarterback's rating. So what do these stats mean? Let's take a look at a recent game between the Packers and the Lions that ended with a 61-yard Hail Mary by Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers to win the game. Rodgers ended the game 24 of 36 for 273 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. The passer rating system gave him a score of 96.2 out of 158.3 making him just the 14th highest scoring quarterback that week. But the QBR gave Rodgers an impressive 93.1 out of 100, the 4th highest score that week. So what accounts for such a big difference if it's the same stats? Earlier in the game, Rodgers threw an impressive 40-yard pass to convert a second down and long play. He drew two very important pass interference calls, and he also rushed for 28 yards through the first three quarters. And with just over three minutes left in the game, Rodgers ran for a 17-yard touchdown on third down that brought the Packers within two points, and he ultimately capped off the game-winning drive by throwing a 61-yard touchdown pass for the win. QBR takes all of these into account, and it matters that he did it in the most important moments of the game. The passer rating does not. This means that not only does the QBR tell you how good a quarterback played, it also tells you how clutch they were when the game was on the line. If you're looking for a way to measure quarterbacks, look no further than the QBR. It's the most accurate reading of how well or poorly a quarterback played because it takes every important stat into consideration. For more facts on stats, feel free to check out more articles on Life as a Champion under the Story Behind the Stats tab. Can the receivers get far enough down the field? Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone! It is caught! for the win! Richard Rodgers with a walk-off touchdown! A game-ender for the Packers! Total disbelief at Ford Field. The Packers saved by the face mask call, given one last chance. And Aaron Rodgers heaves it as far as he can. And Richard Rodgers boxing out in the end zone for the touchdown.